Hi you guys, hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today we have a special effects video for beginners. Today we're gonna go over uh, how to do a white base of face paint without making it look patchy. Super, super important video, you guys. Basics are the backbone, whether it be fashion, beauty, special effects, anything. Basics are what matters, and you know what? A white base is really, really difficult. It's really hard to master. I know when I first started, it was really challenging for me, so I totally get it. I understand. I want to share with you guys the knowledge that I've acquired over the years. I know I look like a maniac right now, especially like nothing. Like I have my lips done like in white, and my lashes are even white, so I look crazy, but basics are like really the most important thing that you guys can learn ever at all. If you master them, you can create any look that you want, guaranteed, really. So special effects also just has a really good place in my heart. It's got a very special place right in there. So I, I'm really excited to share this video with you guys. With that being said, we can hop right into the tutorial. Okay guys, so I already just put some glue on my brows. I do have a video that you guys can check out on how to properly block out your brows. However, just because you might not want to block them out for this video, that's totally fine for this look, whatever you're doing. That's why I'm not spending so much time on it, but I'm just gonna take my Drug Lord by Jeffree Star. You guys can also use like a white concealer or anything like that, and I'm just gonna apply it onto my brows. I just wanted to show you, you know, that I have a, a base before before I go into the white stuff. So I'm just gonna do that off camera because again, I do have a video on how to properly block out your brows. Okay you guys, so now that I have these blocked out completely, I'm gonna be taking my Mayron. This is Clown White, so I love this thing. <sighs> Something that took me a while to get when I first started special effects. So the sponges that you use are extremely important. It's the same thing with your brushes that you would use for regular beauty makeup. So when you are applying full face like this, the sponge that you use is going to determine how your look comes out. If you are looking for like maybe just a light or not patchy, but some looks require almost like a patchy look. You would use a sponge that is a little bit lighter, maybe even have some like holes in it or has, you know, I'm gonna grab you an example. Okay, so this is one of my sponges. It's almost like dishwasher sponge material. It's a very soft, it's very like squeezable. And I, I'm sure you guys can't see these tiny little things, but they do have like a lot of holes in them, tiny, tiny little ones, the same way that like a dishwasher sponge would have. So this is for a look that you're not gonna get super full coverage uh, with this thing, but it's still really good for some looks. It just determines, it just is dependent on what you're going for. So this type of sponge right here, like your typical beauty blender, this is my least favorite to work with actually because it's too hard, I think, in my opinion. So you want something that is a little bit softer but still very smooth like a beauty blender is. So it should be smooth to the touch, just like the beauty blender should be a little bit, not slippery, but you it will slide a little bit easier. You're gonna get a tiny little bit more resistance to this. And this is gonna be a little bit softer. So I can't really tell you guys, like I can only try to describe to you the texture difference. Uh, obviously you guys can't like feel these, but you can see like I'm putting the same amount of pressure on my fingers pretty much. And this one is going down further. This is gonna be the best sponge to use for that full coverage. This for beginners is gonna be a little bit hard to blend. You do get very full coverage with this. It is really great, um, but this does take a lot of practice. So if you're just starting off, definitely go with a sponge like this. And so what I'm gonna do with this, and so Mayron is really great. Uh, I love their face paints. I'm going to basically like cake on. That's a little too much actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this right here and I'm going to just start 
putting that on the bulkier areas of my face. And the really key to work with uh, whites is that you want to have enough product on there. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite cakey, honestly. I'm not gonna lie to you. White is very hard to work with without it being very cakey. Uh, but it's better if you add a lot of product first, which I never really am a fan of ever. You guys know I'm very minimalistic when it comes to my product application, but. With white face paint like this, you do want a decent amount to cover up and blend that out. You can go right over those brows. The problem uh, that arises when you don't have enough product on your sponge is that it will become a little bit, it will almost remove some of that product that you're applying because it will take off the access with the sponge and we don't want that so it will become a little bit patchier and we just want to layer it. I'm not gonna block out my ears for this you guys but you absolutely can if you want to. It's just a very similar process. You just blend. It's a little bit harder. It's tricky to do to block out the ears especially in white because there is a lot of texture I know I look so crazy right now. And so what I like to do, I like to stay away from my eyes and my mouth because with the face paint, especially if you're using like a water activated anything, you don't want to be putting those, especially in areas that crease also, like your smile lines too, but around your eyes and everything. You want to save those for like a white concealer, or you can use Drug Lord also if you have a uh, Drug Lord. And I am just patting this on. The thing also with white face paint is that uh, you have to realize it's going to make everything, like your eyes are going to look more yellow, your teeth are going to look a little bit more yellow, which is obvious, you know, um, but it's totally fine. That's just how it is. I'm getting it all over my earrings and all <laughs> over everything. I look so funny. It looks so funny. So I like to save these areas for either my concealer or drug lord and so when I'm going over areas again when I first apply I'm adding a tiny little bit more pressure but then as I blend I'm actually releasing some of that pressure because I don't want to pick up any of the product on the sponge I just want to layer it so I'm going heavy handed and then a little bit lighter handed. Just like so. And of course, you guys, before this, I prepped my skin with some primer and moisturizer because face paint will really, really, really dry out your skin. Really. So I can go over a little bit. I'm going to actually remove some of this because I'm going to add that concealer okay so the trick for this white face paint is choosing your sponge but also choosing your pressure so as you go along uh, and you know I'm gonna do something I'm gonna mess I'm gonna purposely mess this up so that you guys can see what will happen so if I go too far, see how I went too, I pushed too hard. So that took off some of that extra product and lifted it. So what we're going to do to prevent that is choosing the pressure, the proper pressure for application. So that's very, very light handed. You're being very gentle always. Okay, now I'm going to be taking my concealer again and I'm just going in underneath my eyes 
like so. And I'll also go on the top, make sure I get all of those. So the reason why I also really, really like Drug Lord, uh, Jeffree Star's white, white lipstick, uh, it's because, so it's actually, it's a lip stain. It dries very quickly, very, very quickly. Uh, and it's stays. It definitely, it's not going to budge. The only thing I don't like is that for beginners, it can be a little bit tricky to work with. And just get into those corners, get every nick and cranny. And I'm, I can just go right over my lashes. That's totally fine. So every little nick and cranny I'm getting into. But you have to work very fast with uh, Jeffree Star's Drug Lord. Because it does dry very, very quickly. I'm going to show you guys right now so I did have to push a little bit into those uh, more curved areas so I did take some off of my nose which is totally fine I can just go in over again also you guys when it comes to face paints if you're a beginner I know that it's really really tempting to just buy the cheapest face paint because face paint like every makeup is no joke like beauty makeup is no joke makeup is expensive good makeup is expensive you can get uh like pharmacy uh drugstore brands for a lot of beauty makeup that unfortunately a lot of the cheaper face paints they just they simply do not perform like the the, the good quality brands my favorite for beginners and otherwise is mayron i think that it's like very affordable comparably for like a high-end uh, face paint. Really, it's it's more expensive than just going to your local party store, Halloween store, anything like that. But it's well worth it. It definitely is. And I would recommend absolutely trying Mayron products. And I'm just going to take that Drug Lord now and do my lips. This is so good. This stain here. I'm just getting that everywhere. Everywhere. And I want like fully white everywhere. Everywhere white. Uh, you don't have to do, like, you don't have to block out your brows or anything. And so I'm not worried so much about going into uh, my hair because normally when I do a full face like this, I will even add some into my hair and bring it back a little bit. I think that this adds such a dramatic look to whatever you're doing, and I just really like that. To have the hair blend in with the face, it just it makes a huge, huge difference for really anything uh, you should be blending in. Also for your contour and everything. For beauty products, just beauty makeup regular, definitely always blend into your hairline. Okay, so now I feel like, I think this is, there we go. So I'm just looking over for any like patches of white or anything and going over those wherever I see them, if I see them. Sometimes I won't, sometimes I will. Okay, and now you guys for the next step we are going to set our faces. I'm gonna go grab my setting powder and I'll be right back. Okay, so there's two setting powders that I want to show you guys today. So the first one is Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see that this is white white. Mayron also has a setting powder that I have right over here, which is also good. You can use this too. It's very, very white. It's a good consistency, but I'm just saying if you guys have these beauty products, which most people do, you can use these as well like normal. You don't have to buy the special effects one. And then this sugar cookie by Huda Beauty is really, really good. It's a very, very white. I actually only like this for special effects. I think it's too much on just like a regular beauty look, but for special effects, I think it's really great. And so what I'm going to do now 
I'm just going to make sure I don't have any creases. So I'm looking up. I'm going over that one more time under my eyes. And I'm going to be taking now a sponge. I'm going to be taking a sponge for this. And I'm going to be just applying that, patting that right over. You can even, like, I, I'm not really a fan of baking, but you can even bake for this. It's going to be really messy, this process here. And so definitely, definitely when you are setting this, do not swipe or take a brush to it. This is the, one of the best tips I can give you. Pat. Just pat on that product. And I never, I never, 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 never say add a lot of product or bake. I'm always, I'm very about uh, like, see I even, see it's winter time and my nose is a little bit runny. And so I was like, oh yeah, I'll just, I'll fix that. And then I didn't fix it. And now I just set my face. So this is just because, uh, because of that. So yeah, normally I would fix that, but I just forgot about it. If you were doing a different color, like say you were doing a blue or something that was a little bit darker and didn't need so much thickness, I would say maybe don't add as much product. You can maybe add like half of the amount of product that we're adding here. And then of course, don't set with like a uh, super white powder uh, baked on like that because it will get rid of some of that pigment and tone it down a lot. What I actually like to do is I like to set with eyeshadows. The only thing you have to be extremely careful with that because once you set with that, you have to realize that that patch is going to be a little bit darker. So you are, you're going to have to practice and practice and practice and practice setting your face in eyeshadow if you want that look because what's gonna happen is that if you do it incorrectly, the technique incorrectly, you're gonna have all these little patches of like color pigment that it's just, it's not gonna look smooth and even because it's going to, like anything that's laying on top of a wet product like that, any product, the pigment is going to change a little bit, especially if it's already a really dark pigment, of course. I know that this sounds like maybe common sense, but for me it was really hard at first to figure out and navigate how I wanted to do all of my base work. So I found something that worked for me. And if you're going to work with shadows, I think it can make like such a huge, huge difference. I mean, this Mayron powder is also like amazing. I would definitely recommend it. The only reason I used uh, my Huda Beauty is because I want to use some products maybe that you might already have. You know, I'm trying to like incorporate those because I know transitioning from beauty to special effects is like a whole different ball game, all new products. So I want to show you that you can do special effects makeup without purchasing all these brand new products. Okay guys, so now that I let that sit for a minute, I'm gonna take a super, super fluffy brush. So also the key with this, you guys, is that you do not want a brush that is dense at all. You want something that is super light and fluffy that you can just barely touch and it's going to bring out and push away that extra product. And I am just going to go over my face just like this. You can also take some extra powder if you want it and just get your, coat your brush with it just in case you're a little bit afraid of that. Okay. So I'm taking off all of that extra powder, get rid of that patchiness that we had. And very, very light handed on this, you guys. I didn't set my neck just like for the video's sake. You guys can absolutely set your neck, but just same, same strategy, same technique. And so you guys, that's it, let's see. And you can check also like if you have any, no, that looks, that looks, I'm gonna add maybe a little bit more powder to my forehead. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Now that I have powder literally like all over my black shirt, I swear I have other shirts. It's just like, if I was going to go meet a client, I would wear like all black, you know, just as this is like what I would wear to work. It's just all black, like a black v-neck, things like that. So this is what I would wear in real life for makeup. <laughs> And so that is it, you guys. That's literally it. Of course, it's going to be really messy, so just be prepared for that. But there's no patches on here or anything. All white is really, really, really hard, you guys. It's really hard to accomplish. It is like one of the most basic things in special effects, but it's really challenging. Don't, don't be discouraged and ask yourself, like, why can't I get this? Why is my face looking patchy? Why is this? Why is that? Why isn't it setting correctly? It's really hard. It's hard to do a white base. This is probably one of the hardest. And this is, this is the hardest base, actually. Like, all the other colors are not as hard as this. They're a lot more pigmented. It's really hard to get an all-white base like this. So, I hope that this video is helpful for you. If it wasn't or you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, always as always please drop them down below for me in the comment section i will get back to all of you guys of course and that's it i really hope that this was helpful for you i know i look crazy right now but this was just so you guys could see the base and you can do anything from here you can create whatever look you're going to create from here uh and that is all you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me like i always say special effects has a very very special place in my heart so I really appreciate you coming on this journey with me and also letting me be a part of your special effect journey. It means so much, really, it does. So thank you guys again. If you enjoyed this video and if you feel like supporting me and my channel, you could give it a big thumbs up for me. You could also hit that big old subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much again and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!